it turns out that my bees don't like my water that I built for them. Uh, I think maybe uh, some of the bark that it's sitting on got into the water, made the water bitter, or it's just in a bad spot, or I don't know. But they have never used it. And then I find out from one of my neighbors that they've been drinking out of his dog dish, his dog water dish. And he's been rescuing the bees that start to drown, which was very nice of him. And he's a very cool guy. He doesn't mind that they're coming over. He says he can continue watering them. He doesn't care. But I don't want to make life miserable for him, so I made a new waterer. This one's even cheaper. I saw another user on YouTube. I'm sorry I can't remember your name. I'll probably link to your video. But she showed how she made a little water out of a bucket and some cork. It's just a you know, flat piece of cork that floats in the top. Doesn't Cork doesn't waterlog, so it won't sink to the bottom. Gives them a little landing board to stop and have a drink. We'll see if this... Uh, if they like this one more. It should stay cleaner. It's actually going to be easier to refill. Trying to refill this one up here was a real pain. Because every time I'd lift the bucket out, the rocks would fall in. I'd have to move all the rocks out, put the bucket back in. Meanwhile, it's making a mess all over the place because the hole in the bottom. Maybe it wasn't a good plan. I like the thought of it, but it, in practicality, it's just, it just doesn't work. This is a whole lot easier and the bucket was free and the cork probably cost a whole roll of it was three bucks so that little piece was probably about 50 cents worth of cork i still got a roll left and i don't know i'll have to watch to see if they like it or not or if they keep drinking out of the dog dish over at the neighbors